Good evening, and welcome to St. Mary of Bern. The presider for a mass is Father Sabello Lutuli. The deacon is Jim Wogan. Our entrance song is in the Choose Christ Missal, number 149, In Christ Alone. That's Choose Christ, 149. Would you all please stand? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. My brothers and sisters in Christ, today's gospel makes what is complex simply by reducing many laws to only two. We are to love God and to love our neighbor. And so we come together to ask for forgiveness for the time we have failed to keep these two commandments. Lord Jesus, you strengthen us for the journey of faith. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you showed us how to live out the two greatest commandments. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory. 
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that what we may merit, what so that we may merit what you promise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, you shall not molest or oppress an alien, for you were once aliens yourselves in the land of Egypt. You shall not wrong any widow or orphan. If ever you wrong them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry my wrath will flare up and I will kill you with the sword. Then your own wives will be widows and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of your poor neighbors among my people, you shall not act like an extortioner toward him by demanding interest from him. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset, for this cloak of his is the only covering he has for his body. What else has he to sleep in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. These are the words to the refrain of the responsorial song. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. Oh, Lord, my rock, fortress, my Savior. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. My God, my rock, where I take refuge. My shield, my saving strength, my stronghold. I cry out, praised be the Lord. And see, I am saved from my foes. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord lives 
and blessed be my rock. May the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord gives great victories to his king and shows merciful love for his anointed. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord, my A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we were among you for your sake, and you became imitators of us and of the Lord receiving the word in great affliction with joy from the Holy Spirit, so that you became a model for all of the believers in Macedonia and Acacia. For from you, the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and in Acacia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly de declare about us what sort of reception we had among you and how you turned to God from idols, to serve the living and true God, and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together. And one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. This Gospel packet, pa passage today picks up where we left off last weekend. If you recall, the Pharisees had plotted on how they might entrap Jesus. They thought they had him stumped when they asked him if it would be, was lawful to pay taxes. But Jesus shot them down with his, give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what is God's. Boom. Take that, Pharisees, supposed theologians and scholarly interpreters of the law. Then enter the Sadducees. Um, that, does, that, that is a passage between last week's gospel and today's. But the Sadducees, they didn't accept the possibility of the resurrection. They were leaders within Jerusalem, and they threw at him the ridiculous scenario of the woman whose husband died, and her, and her husband's, her deceased husband's brother would marry her. And then he died, and another brother married her, and another brother, until all seven brothers had married her. Whose wife will she be at the resurrection that they posed to Jesus? His response, you are misled because you do not know the scriptures, scriptures or the power of God. Then he dresses them down and embarrasses them in front of all onlookers. Boom. Take that, Sadducees. So this week, knowing that the Sadducees kind of fell flat on their faces, the Pharisees decided they'd go for a comeback. So they turned to the law. A lawyer among them, a professional theologian, asked the question, which is the greatest commandment? Obviously, another bedeviling attempt to involve Jesus in a, a hair-splitting debate. Naming one commandment as the greatest would devalue the others by comparison, making it sound as if he didn't value God's word in its fullness. As a practicing and observant Jew, Jesus responds first, by quoting the Jewish profession of faith. Hear, O Israel, you shall love the Lord your God with your whole heart, your whole soul, and your whole mind. Jews have recited this ancient love song every day down through the generations, even when attempts have been made to smother it on the funeral pyres of history. Those holy words have drifted over the world from the time they were slaves in, uh, in Egypt to the tragic smoke of Auschwitz, to the butchery of Hamas, but they've also risen as the incense of joyful prayer. Although Jesus was asked just for a single commandment and he gave them two, he responded with two. He makes it clear that loving one's neighbor is of equal importance and inseparable from the first. <clears throat> Jesus shows that he understands God's word far more deeply than those who are tied to the reading of the law completely literally. He reveals that fulfilling the law is not about slavish deference to what is written, but it's about love. If our hearts are formed in love, the other commandments will follow. The second commandment flows from the love of God. If we truly love God, we will love our neighbor. So, as we go into the, the world this week, we might be tempted to separate the love of God from love of neighbor. We don't want to leave today's Mass 
and go out into our lives only to show how little we are really in communion with our brothers and sisters by failing to love them in the small but demanding ways of everyday neighborliness. In our journey through Matthew's gospel this year, this liturgical year, Jesus has taught us through word and action that we too are to heal, to nourish, to welcome, to love, not only our neighbors, but our enemies and strangers in the very least of society. Our challenge is to imitate his compassion and love. This is the way of the cross. This is the way of life. This is the way of the kingdom of God. Let us rise and profess our faith. I believe in one God, Father, the Almighty, the maker of heaven and of all things. life of the world to come. Amen. We have heard that we are to be people who love God and our neighbor. Let us pray for all those, for all those we are called to love and all those for whom we are especially concerned, all those for whom we have promised to pray. Our response is, Lord, accept our prayer. For all those who do pastoral work, ministers, chaplains, counselors, catechists, and all who proclaim by their lives the love God has for each of us, we pray. For government leaders, that God may guide them in confronting the challenges of the world without violence, we pray. For those who have wronged us, those we find difficult to forgive, those we find difficult to love, we pray. For an end to the war in the Middle East, we pray. For individuals and programs that clearly embody the great commandments, those that demonstrate care for the needy or focus on helping people to love and respect themselves, we pray. For those for whom we are especially concerned, for loved ones in danger, for those who are sick or suffering, especially John Riley, and for the Margie family, and all those who have asked for our prayers, we pray. We pray for those who've died, most recently for Mary Wesson, and also for Raymond DeFava, and for those who, who grieve the loss of someone dear to them, we pray. And for the holiness of the people of St. Mary of Vernon, for the holiness of those who have asked for our prayers 
and those promised our prayers, and for the holiness of those who are most in need of God's presence today, we pray. Lord, accept our prayer. We pray for all of our own intentions. We pray. Lord, accept our prayer. Loving God, you send your Son, Jesus, to teach us the, way, the ways of love. Hear our prayers today and every day that we may be encouraged and inspired to live a good, holy, loving life modeled after the life of Jesus. In whose name we pray. Amen. The song during the presentation of gifts is in the Gather Hymnal, number 782. Only this I want. That's Gather 782. Where? 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to guard our people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for concentration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At whose command we celebrate these sacred mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper ascended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate in the memorial of the serving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the blessing of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant us, we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and Jorah's martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with our servant Francis our Pope and Blazer our Bishop and the order of bishops and all the clergy and the entire people who have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father, guard to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all we are pleasing to you at this passing life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. It is ever command and formed by divine teaching with there to say. Uh, 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 uh,
สิทธิ์เท่านั้นอรหันต์บิดาเนี่ยได้ทิ้งดุงคำได้พูดบิดานอันเอิร์ธเท่านั้นที่ว่าสิ่งที่เราได้รับจากพระเจ้าและพระเจ้าทรงให้เราได้รับการยอมรับจากพระเจ้าและพระเจ้าทรงให้เราได้รับการยอมรับจากพระเจ้าและพระเจ้าทรงให้เราได้รับการยอมรับจากพระเจ้าและพระเจ้าทรงให้เราได้รับการยอมรับจากพระเจ้าและพระเจ้าทรงให้เราได้รับการยอมรับจากพระเจ้าและพระเจ้าทรงให้เราได้รับการยอมรับจากพระเจ้าและพระเจ้าทรงให้เราได้รับการยอมรับจากพระเจ้าและพระเจ้าทรงให้เราได้ We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who says to our apostles, "Peace I leave you, peace I give you," look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us take a moment now to offer one other a sign of peace. I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our song during communion is in the Gather Hymnal, number 960, Healer of Our Every Ill, Gather 960. Adieu.
few announcements this evening. High school teens, don't miss the Alpha Omega All Hallows Eve party this Sunday, October 29th at 6.30 in the Paris Center. There'll be a costume contest, scary maze, snacks, and more. Come with your friends. Wednesday, November 1st, is the Feast of All Saints, the Holy Day of Obligation. Masses are at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Thursday, November 2nd, is All Souls Day and our Remember with Love Mass at 7 p.m. Altar server training for boys and girls from 4th to 8th grade will be held next Saturday, November 4th at 6.30 p.m. in the church. We need little gifts for Box of Joy Ministry. Teens will be assembling the boxes on November 5th. Next weekend, there will be a second collection to benefit Alpha Omega Youth Ministry. This special collection forms the backbone for the youth ministry budget for the year. It's used for weekly events, retreats, supplies, resource materials, and of course, food. Thank you in advance for your financial support as well as your continued prayers for our youth. Stop in the narthex to sign up for the November 18th wedding anniversary mass and dinner dance and to sign the book for Veterans Day if you are a vet. And more, much more in your bulletin. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O oh Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them. That what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and glorify the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Our closing song is in the Gather Hymnal, number 590. Christ be our light. That's 590. Thank you.